Unfortunately, there is still no official WhatsApp app dedicated for the iPad. So we always have to find workarounds on how to get the WhatsApp availabilities and all of the stuff, like all the features on the iPad. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set it up quite easily using the web based method. Let's begin. The way it works is that WhatsApp has some sort of web based version. It means that if you have it set up correctly and properly on an iPhone or any other phone, then you can add another device to be used and to have access to that WhatsApp account. And that can be on a laptop, on a computer and on the iPad as well. So here is what we're going to be doing. So just unlock the iPad and go to Safari or other web browser and search the term web WhatsApp. The first thing is going to pop up. I think I'm going to put the link to the description as well. Now, at this point, you should be able to see a website like this. So you have the WhatsApp logo at the top. You have some sort of instructions and a QR code on the uh, iPad and in the middle of the screen. So what you have to do now is to simply bring out the WhatsApp on an iPhone or any other phone that has it set up correctly. There, that means that you have a working WhatsApp account running on your iPhone. So now you just open up the app. You just try to get it here and you simply go to the settings and there you should be able to see the WhatsApp web desktop version. So if you tap on it, it's going to already tell you that how many devices you have connected and you can link one more device. So this blue button is going to access the camera and you can very easily scan the barcode. I mean, the quick QR code on the website and using the middle of the screen of the iPad. So you're going to go like this and it's going to give you the option and it will pretty much allow you to access all of the chats and all of the things right from the iPad or from the device. This is still a web based version and there are some third party clients. So make sure to subscribe because in my future video, I will definitely go through some of the most popular ones and test out whether they work or not. So make sure to stay tuned for that video because you probably don't want to always go to Safari to access your WhatsApp on the iPad. However, there are some things that you can do in order to make things easier. So in order to get some sort of shortcut on the screen, what you can do is to click on the share icon once you are inside the WhatsApp uh, on the desktop version on the iPad. And what you can do is to click on add bookmark or you can even add it to your home screen as an icon, which is very useful. So if you do that, it's going to have like the WhatsApp logo. And if you click on add, it's going to appear on the home screen and once you tap on it it's going to open up the safari and it's going to allow you to get here and like load all of your recent messages this is definitely not the best way of using whatsapp on any portable device but it's still at least something what you can use i mean it's not the best but this is at least what we got so i think we're gonna be actually have to be satisfied with this unless there is a better client third party option but yeah stay tuned for a video in which i'm gonna be going over and testing those different third party apps Okay, but back to the web based version of WhatsApp. If you want to, in the description, you can also find a link to a Siri shortcut, which you can install on your iPhone or iPad, which will pretty much do the very same thing or a very similar one. It means that it's going to create a shortcut, which is going to open up Safari and the web based version, but you can customize it a bit more. And like, of course, it's a Siri shortcut. You can add some more actions to it. You can add it to home screen. You can customize it. You can make it a widget. There are more things that you can do with it compared to simply saving a bookmark on the home screen to a Safari. So do whatever you want with it. But these are the only options that we have so far. I mean, the only official options we have for iPad from WhatsApp developers themselves. So that's why I wanted to make this video. I wanted to share this with you. It was a very quick one. There isn't much else what I could say about it. There isn't much to talk about at all. Then inside of the web based version, you use the normal, uh, use the WhatsApp normally the regular way. So there isn't anything to explain. I want to say thank you very much for watching and your support. If you enjoyed this video and if you found it helpful, what I would appreciate a lot would be a thumbs up and a subscribe if you want to stay updated. So again, thank you very much for sticking by and for supporting this channel. So yeah, we see each other in the next few videos. See you guys later.